something different from pinball today. Neon lights. I love neon lights. And even though I'm a diehard St. Louis Cardinals baseball fan, I took this job on for a friend that lives in Chicago, and she brought this neon down to me for repair. I was pretty convinced that it was going to be the transformer or the transformer switch, and that turned out to be the case. But the first thing you need to do to repair a neon is make sure that all the tubes are working correctly. And you can get this neon tube tester off Amazon for about $20. And you just, it works off of uh, th four AA batteries. And you just snap it and it tells you if the tubes are working properly, they'll light up for just a little while. So I tested all the tubes and they were all good. So I knew it was gonna be a transformer issue and this is the transformer that came out of it. This is an Alson, this is an old style. This is like a pinball transformer inside, except they goop it up with this black stuff to reduce the vibration. And the process that makes the switch inaccessible. You simply cannot get that switch out of this big block of goo. So you have no choice but to replace the transformer. So I have replaced this transformer. You can pick these placement transformers up on Amazon or eBay and I've used this particular brand a couple times it works great and um, all you have to do is match the voltage requirement this is a 9 kilovolt transformer so let's turn it on while I'm on the back side here one of the things you got to be super careful about with these neons is breaking the glass you can see she's all lit up and good to go. And the last thing I did was replace the wire ends where these boots go. Or I put a boot on the wire ends to insulate from the bare wire that gets twisted together from the transformer ends to the ends on the glass. So this is something fun, something a little different. I'm glad they sent it to me.